Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel. Well, as you can see, we have a gorgeous day going off here today. Trade winds are not blowing, so it's hotter than normal. And those clouds are just barely moving. 84 degrees. They say it feels like 88. I was out in the shop where we're heading next and it was so much hotter in there. I had to build a little system to cool it down. And there it is, a flat 90 degrees in the shop. A little too warm and I was working back in here. Needed to build a little something so I could have a fan running and make it more tolerable. I know a lot of you won't have sympathy when I read the temperatures going off across on the mainland right now, but 90 degrees here is pretty warm. So I decided to build this little small system on a, a, a what is it, a west facing wall I guess, yeah, where by the time the sun starts going down it's, uh, it really never catches any real sun there on that wall so it's kind of a nice cool installation place for it. And I did want to uh, get my a little fan running to keep it cool in here which it's doing right now so I'll show you that in a minute but it's hitting me in the back keeping it very comfortable keeping me very comfortable but I wanted to talk about a couple of points about this small system that I built it took 20 minutes to build and about half of that was just gathering up all of the uh, pieces that I needed to put it together went together extremely quick I used exactly two wrenches uh, a drill and six screws total so it went up very quick and this power bright inverter it's a 600 watt pure sine wave inverter uh, i found it in a box today where i had it stored and i wanted to say and tell you guys that this little inverter i had used for 14 years straight never had one problem with it uh, the only thing i was limited by was the 600 watt uh, output for it but I never really exceeded it on the small lead acid system that I was running back then it basically ran everything in the house I found that at a local distributor out here 14 years ago they wanted 350 bucks for that thing and believe it or not that was a good deal 14 years ago for a pure sine wave 600 watt I saw that today online which is what kind of sparked my uh, interest in breaking it out of the box again that thing goes for like a hundred and five dollars right now so it shows you just in the past 14 15 years how much the price has come down in these products it's just incredible I just can't believe it so got the power bright 600 watt pure sine wave inverter tied up we've got that tied into the uh, very reliable and tried and true ampere time 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery continue to work this every day in various applications and right now it's running a fan and cooling my back and then I just used a drill those two small wrenches over there and like I said six screws four on the the inverter itself two on the uh, breaker and that was it six screws and I've got cooling back here at this side of the shop now. Feels great. I'll show you what that looks like. So I've got it running this uh, oscillating tower fan right now. It's on high, pretty quiet, and I shut the isolator off because I wanted it blowing straight at me uh, into the chair that I'm sitting in right now. And with that air hitting me, uh, it's quite pleasant in here even though it is 90 degrees but with that moving air directed right on to me very pleasant and I'll show you on the high setting uh, which is a three on this I did run an extension cord over to this watt meter and show you that that fan on high setting 27 28 watts that's all that draws so it's a it's a super light load and it's going to run all day today no doubt 
and there's another shot of it. I'm just sitting here in the chair uh, drying up the sweat on my chest right now. <laughs> it's pretty toasty in here. I might not be in here much longer. And there you can see on the back, there's the power wall. I've done videos on uh, what I'm doing there. I continue to run experiments on those that I will share with you guys over time. And I've got quite a few videos on those uh, two separate systems now. So now in the shop, we've tied in a third system. And today, it's running that fan. <laughs> so I really just wanted to show you guys just how uh, quick and easy it can be to, uh, you know, just build yourself a small little system. I know a lot of you are out camping with similar systems, just on-the-go little systems for wherever you end up on a day out in the woods or down at the beach whatever you need a little extra power for and you can just you know this is all super light 24 pounds for a battery these days uh, toss that in your car a couple of hookups you know in 10 minutes you're up and running running whatever you want for whatever size devices you you've got um, pretty darn easy like I said this whole thing start to finish was 20 minutes to get me cool and I can be in here now uh, much more comfortably and yeah that's what I just wanted to show you guys that hope that gave you a couple ideas a lot of people are asking me like about simple systems sometimes so I mean it doesn't get any more simple than this right here super easy uh, I don't have any uh, charging tied into this right now I don't really I'm not worried about that that battery's uh, pretty full it's gonna last a long time drawn 29 watts it's not gonna hardly be touched for a very long time and I don't know if I will ever tie in a charging system to this I can just rotate batteries in and out of that out of my other charging station and that'll be fine too but for lighter loads I thought back in this end of the shop it'd be fun to just put that up and just brag on that power bright system 14 years now since I built that main system in the uh, house and upgraded from this with uh, that 3000 watt inverter and the chins battery banks I hadn't fired this up one time I just stored it in a box to keep it nice and dry and clean and today fired it back up no problems after sitting for oh about a year a little over a year now so anyway the price of all of these components just getting down to where it's pretty affordable these days to do a little bit of solar even if you just do a little bit all right you guys aloha <laughs>